How are you, Genesis? I'm doing great, Tony, and it's great to see you. It's great to see you again because I, I, we did the junket uh, years ago for Man on the Ledge at the Four Seasons. That's right. I stood on the ledge of the Four Seasons you as a stunt. That? I, w- I didn't even do that. I wasn't brave enough to do that. <laughs> uh, I tell you. And uh, I, my, my beautiful wife wants to thank you for time after time. It, it's her favorite show to, to kind of binge. Happy. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to hear that. Tell her thank you. We just ended the the twelve episode run, but boy, you know it was it, you're a great great actress and a lot of fun. So thank you. There you go. I mean, uh, first of all, centigrade, what a claustrophobic um, survival. You know, it's almost like who's afraid of Virginia Wolf in a car? <laughs> Do- I, totally, <laughs> totally. <laughs> you don't know. What train wreck is going to happen in there? <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I I absolutely saw that movie before um, starting to shoot. Um, I I wanted, I didn't know, the script is written on the, I'm kind of like as we went because it was fitted to Vincent and I. Yeah. And, and I didn't have much to prep. So I didn't have any lines to really to marry. And which is weird for me because I overstudy because I have like a little bit of an actor imposter syndrome. Like I really want to make sure I do a good job or at least I'm prepared. Um, so I, I had, I didn't have that. Hmm. So I prepped seeing uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. And I, I, I wanted to see that marital tension a lot. Um, I can't remember what other movies I saw, but thank you for reminding me of that one. Um, I I think that this movie was a very liberating experience for me because I didn't have that time to prep. I, I dieted. I went through the elements and the actual sleeplessness. Um, I lost so much sleep in, in, in thinking about this film. When I finished i don't know what i accomplished but it was something so it was really something well it was something and i'll tell you it 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 was it was a wonderful character study you know when when people do a big movie and you've got hundreds of big stars all over you and you're buoyed up by those performances it's a lot different than doing a two-man stage play which is what centigrade is i mean you're only relying on vincent he's only relying on you and we as the audience are just absorbing these performances. So it was a really great experience. That I'm so happy to hear that, Tony. Thank you. It was very scary. You know, it's very scary <laughs> to do something like that. And do you feel the weight of a film on your shoulders if you're like the only person in it? <laughs> yeah, I guess you do. And I and the things that I would keep me up at night, you know, I didn't want, no, I, no two fights should be the same because they're not. No two fights with any couple are the same. And Brendan took care of the visual, like no two shots in the car were the same. And it's a car, like how creative can you get in a car? Um, and he was able to manage that. And, and so my, my character in the beginning, she kind of was, you know, this annoying wife character. And I had to redeem her by the end of it. And I think she changed, she morphed into this primal, strong woman. And it just happened naturally because we didn't really, we didn't plan it, we didn't have the words. Um, so it was, it was awesome. It was an awesome acting challenge. Of course, I see the film and now like, yeah. now that I know what happens and now that I know the lines that stayed in the film, I was like, well, I would have done this with this way. I would have done this that way, but. <laughs> Without giving anything away in the film, the, the moment for me where your character emerged was breaking the window. It, it really was her moment of, of, of setting everything free and everything in motion. And I think, I think there was a, a, a collective sigh from everyone that watched the movie at that moment went, oh, you know, now we're getting to the next level of this. Yeah. Yeah. Working in an ice box, working in an ice cream freezer. Awful. <laughs> awful. God wow. awful. And in, 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 it was in the dead of summer. So it's not like when we went out, 
it it was a I had so many layers to take off I would sweat and then you'd go back in and it was freezing so you had like sweat cold sweat oh. inside and the freezer was it, surrounded by ice cream and I was on a diet and all I could think about I would just look outside and just like immediately I get sad um when I would look at the ice cream I was like I just want ice cream and I would look at the crew members like taking a giant bite of their cheeseburger like while they're setting up the ch shots and I'm like I just want to eat <laughs> I just give me some food <laughs> I, I hope you celebrated after the wrap you know with ice cream and cheeseburgers oh that was my first thing I had a cheeseburger I had a cheeseburger that was my first bite of anything um and I had a beer do, do, well there you go the beer was best. <laughs> do, you, do you look for roles like this? I mean, what what does a role have to have to to you know to have you take it? Well, Tony, I tell you, it's not it's not that many times that I get opportunities to be a lead in a. I'm a I'm a I'm a Latina actor, so the the opportunities are different for for someone like me and to be able to do a lead role in itself is like a dream and to be able to do a dramatic piece is a dream. Like this is what I was meant to do and, I, and and to be able to, that they gave me an opportunity was the greatest gift in the world. I just wanted to be able to show that I can do this and, and, and that people, Latinx actors deserve more lead roles. Um, we're, we're out there, we, we deserve that opportunity. We should be doing dramatic piece, pieces and being Naomi Ibbotson's, why not? Yeah. So, yeah. And I talk. I just talked with Edward James almost about this. You know that that you know he. We need more Latinos in Shakespeare. We need more yes. Latinos doing a lot of things. Yes, and so for me, being a Naomi Ibbotson was a, uh, uh, like the like the biggest prize ever. I could. I wanted to prove that I'm as American as that. <laughs> so I. I honestly, it was. A, a gratifying experience all in all it was torture, but it was an incredible special thing for me as an actor. Well, it showed in the film. Look, I've, I've, we've only got a little bit of time, so I, I've got to say goodbye, but you also have one of the best lines in motion picture history in, uh, in, in Man on the Ledge when they say, you know, cut the red wire. And you <laughs> say... And I say, which, which... They're all. They're all red. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis, I, I hope to catch up with you sometime in person and have a cup of joe with you, but uh, you. great performance, and, and we're watching, you're watching you on Quibi as well, The Fugitive coming out, so terrific. Keep it Thank up. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. We'll Bye-bye, do. sweetie. Bye. This celebrity interview is sponsored by... I'm Annette Severella with Pia Anderson Moss Hoyt, Utah's leading entertainment law firm serving clients nationwide. We provide solid, attentive representation, focusing on minimizing risk, reducing cost, and protecting the reputation and privacy of our clients. Our goal is to provide you with the legal representation you need to make the right decisions and to protect you and your creative works. Call or email me for a free consultation.